Good morning! Today is a Wednesday and it's unexpected for me to come in good old beans. Well, I have a chance today, so let's go and find some treasure. I didn't come here for a week, I went for a little vacation and I'm gonna tell you the truth, I missed this place so much. Yeah, I hope you missed it too. Let's go, let's go find treasure. Okay, so it's 8.30 in the morning, they opened half an hour ago and um, nobody looking for treasures here, I guess, those bins here from yesterday. Anyway, I'm interesting to look everything because uh, I told you many times before, you never know what you can find. Look, it's a lot of shoes today, a lot of different bags. Let's see if we can find something good. Looking for bags all the time, looking inside, maybe I can find some money. It happened with me before, I found a couple times. One time it was $46, another time it was like $10 or $5. And one day I found 10 vintage dollars and vintage jacket. <laughs> it was so funny. As you can see, there's a lot of bags over here, but they have no brand. It looks fine outside, but when you check inside, they don't even have a brand. Uh, so I'm going to skip those bags, leave it for someone else. I always like to look inside different boxes, different little small bags, because you might find really interesting stuff inside. If you see this video, first time on my channel so welcome I am doing the resale for a couple years now and I was uh, doing videos on my Russian channel and uh, only two years later I decided uh, let me try to do English videos as well so I would like you to leave me, leave me a comment uh, how do you like those kind of videos when I go to Goodwill Beans or different thrift stores and we just walk together and check different things also I like to do videos uh, holes videos I actually have a schedule, schedule of my Russian channel, so I'm doing about uh, one, two videos of Goodwill Beans a week, a couple videos from different thrift stores, I do a whole video, I just show you everything I find uh, on a weekend, and also I do a video of uh, what's sold video, and I share with you what I sold, how much I made. So um, if you are interesting to let I post more videos, something like that, please leave me a comment, let me know, and I will be more than happy to do it for you guys. I always uh, find a lot of golf things and beans, but I never did my research. I heard it's kind of expensive and you can ma actually make good money, you can sell one for like 20 40 maybe even hundred dollars but i guess i have to learn first about golf more and see how it goes maybe i can try one day and maybe it can be a good seller but uh, for many years i come here i never see nobody pick it, pick, pick it up as you can see from my video the most stuff i'm getting uh, it's a fashion stuff. I like to pick up different uh, clothes. It can be women clothes, men, kids, anything. I like to pick up uh, shoes and uh, purses, different wallets, and different little small things. Whatever makes you money. A lot of people are wondering, who never been in the bins, like how you can find something good. It looks like a big trash box <laughs> and how you can find something and sell it and make money from that so some people still surprised that you can actually do that but if you want to find really good stuff oh my god yes you have to <laughs> run here you have to be first at new beans you have to grab stuff you have to do your research and a lot of things. You can find a lot of fake uh, purses here, but at the same time you can find real good stuff. 
So always keep your eyes open and your phone handy. <laughs> then you can uh, Google it. Use eBay or Google links, anything you use to find out if it worth something. So this one is my local beans, Goodwill beans. It's located at uh, Fort Lauderdale, uh, Florida. Also, I have about three more close to place I live. We have one in Miami. I never been there, and I don't want to go to Miami. Uh, why? Because I just don't like Miami. <laughs> That's the reason. Uh, then we have another one at, at um, uh, Lake Worth at Palm Beach County. Uh, I like it. It's fine, but you have to get minimum 10 pounds to be able to buy something. And um, they have a lot. Oh, look, they have a lot of DVDs and CDs here. But those been here for a while. They have a group of people who come just specifically to get books and DVDs and CDs and games. So when they have a brand new, they already there. So they just grab everything and then they use some app at the phone. I have no idea which one. And they just scan everything. So they know what they're doing. I don't. Oh, look at this big body bottle. I grabbed this uh, keys, I thought it's for GoPro camera, but I have a Go GoPro 9, but it's not fitting. Maybe it's different model or something. If you know, please leave me a comment. Because I decided to grab this case and it's uh, not so much weight. So I just put inside my clothes and just take it. So let's see if we can make some money. I always look for different uh, belts, leather belts, especially leather made in Italy. Uh, one day I found about two or three um, Ralph Lauren vintage uh, belts and I sold them like 50 60 dollars each. I don't know, people was just walking around, looking at it and just putting back and I'm like, what are you guys doing? <laughs> it's like 50 bucks each, take them. And I took them and I sold them. <laughs> And I make it really good money. So, Goodwill Beans at Palm Beach. I like that place. Uh, but I went there like three, four times. And I never back home with good stuff from there. It's, it's always, you don't find good stuff there. I don't know, it's maybe my luck. But at this one, my local one, I always find good stuff. At Palm Beach, never, never. Maybe a couple of times I got some good shoes, but mm, no more than that. And beans over there, they are deeper, so you have to dig really far, uh, really like d deep to get something, to find something. And it's really difficult, especially when I am making a video with one hand and looking for stuff with another hand. It's hard. It's really hard to do. Yeah, I know some people tell me, oh, you can use the GoPro, you can put on your head, or you can put on your, you know, like chest. But I don't feel comfortable going with the, like, real camera. You know, it's a lot different people around, and some people might I don't understand. When you're doing video with your phone, so some people think you're just on a phone, or you're doing live uh, video with someone else, so it's not that bad. And also uh, GoPro, when I make video on my GoPro outside, it's so much noise. And uh, I'm using my headphones with my cell phone. And you can hear really good. You don't have to hear, you know, different noises. It's, it's very noisy inside. They have a noise on the back where these people work. They have a, a, like a really loud music inside. They have people screaming inside. So it's just so much noise. You don't want to hear that. <laughs> Oh, that's really cool shoes, kids shoes, Donna car in New York. So I um, have my cart on the side. If I find something I like, I have a big uh, IKEA bag with me. So I put different stuff in the bag. Then I drop in my cart. Then I go on the side and start doing my uh, research to see if I can sell it, uh, to see if there's clothes or shoes or whatever have different defects. So start doing my uh, check everything out.
And uh, I'm gonna tell you the, the truth. I don't like to watch my videos after again because many times when I make a video and I look at my video and I find something I didn't see at the beans and I make it's make make me so mad, so sad that like oh my god, it was like Louis Vuitton purse, for example. And I didn't see it. It was in my hand, and I didn't see it. And when I get home and I watch my video again, and I see it, it makes me so sad and mad. So I decided I'm not gonna watch my videos again <laughs> till somebody comment that I missed something. So this weekend I'm planning to go back to Goodwill Beans again. Uh, Palm Beach is about uh, one hour away from me. I'm not planning to go this weekend. Also, we have another beans. I just find out I never been there. It's at Fort Pierce. It's about two hours away. I never been there. So I'm thinking to go there one day. They have a Goodwill beans, and they also have a different, uh, like a regular Goodwill stores. So I would like to go and check it out. And of course, I'm gonna make video and share with you my experience. Uh, also, I like to go to Salvation Army. But they close on Sunday, so I have only Saturday to go there. Like today is Wednesday, and today after being some planning to go to go, uh, to Salvation Army, and I heard that today they have a 50% off on everything. I never been there on Wednesday, so next video <laughs> I'm gonna make it for you uh, from Salvation Army. Okay, so this Saturday I'm planning to go to Goodwill Beans. Uh, I usually spend there like four, maybe five hours. If I have some energy left, if I'm not so hungry, which I am, always after, I would like to go to probably Boca. They have a small thrift stores there. Let's start your day. It's like a little boutique thrift stores. Very nice, very beautiful. You can find really good stuff there. But it's more expensive than just regular beans. That's why I like beans the most. And also I have, a, I have my favorite uh, Goodwill store. It's located at Hollandale Beach. Um, don't remember exactly address, but it's the best store. It's, you always find really good stuff in there. Then I have another one next to my house at Hollywood. Nothing interesting. But a week ago I got really good boots there for ten dollars. Which one cost about five fifty? I think I have it. Last video for you. Not sure. Oh no, I didn't show you that. I showed this on my Russian channel. I'm probably gonna make it for you guys too. Okay, so I'm gonna wait when they have a new beans here and for now I'm, let me go and check it out what we can see and find the closed beans. So somebody already looked at, at those beans. I didn't have chance to come here. But anyway, we can find good stuff. I found this storied sweater with a scalp and I grab it. I post it at my uh, stores and I already have like 10 likes in a couple hours. So it's really good and nobody want it and it's really good condition. It's really good size, size 2. I love uh, Torrid because it sells really fast and you can make good money. I found this hat, it's 100% uh, wool, so I decided to grab it and um, see how much I can make it from this. I found this sweater, but I'm gonna leave it behind. Those little shoes for kids also I'm gonna leave it because it has a lot of uh, signs of wear. Okay, look at this bag. This bag costs $155 brand new. And guess what? I found this brand new with stock. It sells in Bloomingdale's. They have a website. It's $155 bag. Nice found. And it's gonna cost me like one, two dollars. I list it for 95. If you're interested, I have my Mercari and a Poshmark store. 
So when I have a new bean, I take this uh, bag with stuff and just put it in my cart and now we're going to check it out what is inside. That's funny, I thought it's a barberry, but it's not barberry, it's a blueberry, blueberry muffin, it's funny. I would get this for myself, it's a lot of people are <laughs> gonna laugh, but it has so many stains on it. Okay, so now I have a chance to go back to my cart and check what I got, see what I'm gonna leave, see what I'm gonna take. Let's check it out. Rachel's Zoe is not selling for me, so we're gonna leave it behind. Okay, this one is, uh, looks like Italian sweater. I always like to get Italian stuff, they have the best quality. This polo shirt looks like a Burberry for me, like a real Burberry one. It's missing a lo uh, logo because somebody cut it, but uh, where is the... Like, I don't know, I had Burberry shirt before and looks very, very similar. Very great, good quality. Uh, this one is a slip, slipping t-shirt, I'm not gonna take it, It's I'm not gonna make any money. Even it's cute, complot. I have no idea what is that. Looks uh, different. I'm gonna grab this shirt and see if I can sell it. Okay, let's check what is inside this bag. Uh, looks like just uh, different cups, nothing unique, n nothing special. Anyway. If you see something like uh, that in a bag, still grab it, go on the site and check what do you have inside because you might find something really good in. But in this bag, nothing good, so we're gonna leave it behind. Okay, we have a new beans, let's go check it out. Okay, so what is that coach? It looks really good and in great condition, but it is fake. Even, how do I know it's fake? It's ha inside, uh, the real one has a number on a leather. This one is not a leather and it's no number there. And when you do resale for a while, you already know, you already can feel it, with, even with your hand, that this quality yeah, is different for kind of quality. One is fake and one is like real. Yoga. The same when you look at the logo and everything. Keep digging, keep looking. You see, it's a lot of... Uh, Still a lot of Christmas, a lot of Halloween yeah, and different kind of holiday uh, decoration, <laughs> celebration, if yeah, somebody sure needs it. But I don't think somebody need it. <laughs> needs it now. Okay, I'm going back to my cart again because I grab for some new stuff. Let's go check it out again. I got this man's uh, zip up uh, hoodie. Uh, it's really good quality, but it's not selling much for much money. Uh, this Nike shirt looks very uh, unique and different. I'm gonna grab it. Usually, I don't take Nikes, just uh, some specific, uh, you know, model. But this one is good. This scarf is 100% al al alpaca, I'm getting it, let's see if I'm gonna sell that. I found a couple uh, men's uh, shirts, uh, Tommy Bahamas, I had it before, similar, and it sold for me really good money and really fast. Tommy Bahamas selling for me really good. Uh, J. Jill, so maybe a couple months ago I found one and I decided let me try it because I heard it's selling really good. I never tried before so I sold it for $25 and I found it two more today and I decided to grab it again and let's sell it. This one is a loft, it's a brand new stock, medium, so I'm gonna grab it. If I find some brand new V-stack clothes, I'm grabbing not everything, but some of them, yes. Because everybody likes new stuff with 75% off. 
Okay, what else we had? Uh, we have uh, this uh, polo woman's shirt, but has so much stains, so I have to leave it. But I would like to get it for myself. I ri like this kind of style, you know, jeans short, the jeans. But it has too many stains, as you can see. Okay, so I guess time to go back. They have some new bins. Let's go see if we can find more clothes. You see they have a lot of people out there because they have a brand new bins uh, with uh, stuff, shoes, bags, and not, not clothing, different kind of stuff inside. So all people is there and I decided let me come here. I'm not feeling like fight today. This uh, new year I decided to see if I can bring some different stuff in my store, some different new brands. Try something new, not be afraid to, f to try something new. And uh, if you have any um, brands, you know, which one is selling it, please share in the comment below. I uh, will really appreciate that. And I'm going to share with you what selling for me, what is not selling for me. <laughs> so we can share our experience and make more money. Okay, so now some people left from those new beans. I'm sure there's nothing there now, but anyway, let's go see. Maybe we can find something. As I told you, if you want to grab something, you have to run there first, but it's too many people, and uh, I don't feel like push today. Somebody, <laughs> most of the time, people push you. I feel like it's only in my local beans like that, because when I'm looking people from different states, and I never see nothing like that. Maybe they just don't show this in a video. But most of the time when I look in other people's video, it's like not so many people. And they have a bigger, uh, <clears throat> like more beans in there. They have a lot of shoes and everything. And less people, nobody pushing each other, nobody f fight, nothing. People say, excuse me, I'm sorry. And But in my beans, it's just like a crazy madhouse. It's always a fight. It's always people push each other. Like today, one lady, she was running to those, those beans and she just pushed me so freaking hard. And it's not nice. And the funny part is they don't care. They don't care. It's not everybody. It's a lot of nice people who comes here. But some people, they come here every day. They come here every day because it's their business. That's how they make money. And okay, I understand that's your job and stuff like that. But anyway, be nice. Don't be like that. And uh, now, especially where you know that so many people are sick and people are so close to each other. I don't want nobody to be close next to me like that. So I'm trying to stay away <laughs> from people, but it's really difficult in places like that. Let's go check out what we have left here in those bins. I'm going to put some music for you that you can listen and see what they have. And if you see something, leave me a comment. <laughs> Дети, 
Вот эта игрушечка. Такой коробочки необычно надо взять, посмотреть. Белочки, батон, корон. Для чего они нужны? А вот для чего. Вот так вот красиво украшать, смотрите, цветочки. Выращивать. Да, сегодня я нашла хорошие итальянские вещи. Не сумка, а это пляжная, она продается в дорогом магазине. Пит Авеню. Неплохо, неплохо. Это что? Золото бриллианты. Фирма есть даже у этих золото бриллиантов. Отбросим. Конкретно. Здесь смотрите, сколько всяких разных книг, но уже половину этих книг разобрали. Все старое. Это что такое? Тоже что-то, да, какие-то медицинские вещи всякие разные. Вот это вещь достаточно дорогая, детская. Она для молока, но она возможно использовала, не знаю. Здесь только лампочки какие-то старые причем. Крафта. Что за книга? Тапас. Да, они когда рыли стоили, набросали сюда все. Oh, 
Эти машинки, которые колечки, там, еще что-то старинные, они пластмассовые. Я где-то раз видела на таких поводах, блестит. Блестит, блестит, блестит. Так, вот здесь всякие книги. Книги. Сумка сюда же попала. Они здесь наставили своих коробок, даже не подступиться. Okay, I'm going back to my court for the last time today. Check what I found. Pay and leave. I decided to grab those and see if I can sell. And this are uh, what is that? Like a Christmas tree toy. I listed today for twenty dollars, and um, half an hour later, somebody offered me sixteen. So I sold it in uh, one hour. This shirt, I'm gonna leave it behind, and we done for today. Next up, it's a uh, Salvation Army. So next video will be, will be from Salvation Army. Thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, Thank you for your support. We'll be very happy if you subscribe and support my channel. And I'm going to see you next video. Bye-bye.